today we're going to be making an expanding cube which is inspired by this toy that I bought which does this. It's a lovely move. Unfortunately we can't get quite as sophisticated with an origami version, at least not with my skills. But I have created this which does indeed expand and collapse. Um, we're going to make one out of 15 centimeter origami paper, standard origami paper, just because it's easier to see on video. In reality though, this is the best paper. Small memo paper, which is a little thicker than origami paper. And here for instance, is one made out of that paper, which um, expands and collapses nicely. But for clarity, we're going to be using standard 15 centimeter origami paper. So here we are, the expanding cube. When you have folded 12 of the modules, there's one more crease to make on each of them. And on eight of them, we're gonna make a diagonal crease. And on the other four, we're gonna make a horizontal crease. 
We're going to start with the horizontal crease. And for this, we're going to fold edge to edge. So literally, fold in half and unfold. We'll do that on each of these very quickly. Three. Four. Now for the remaining eight modules, we're going to make a diagonal crease. And this crease, you could go two ways on this, this way or this way. I find you get a stronger model if you fold the diagonal starting from where the reverse fold begins. So I'm going to fold my, all of my modules this way. Let me just... So we have a diagonal going that way. We need the same diagonal on all eight modules. Let's just do those. Now we're going to start the assembly. Here's how we connect two modules together. Place a triangle over the top and align it like that. And then we're going to mount and fold this behind using the existing edge. And then we're going to mount and fold it again and the crease should already be there. That's two modules joined. Right, we're going to these ones have got the diagonal crease on. I'm going to add another one here, another one here. These are all the diagonal ones. Let's start with these. This is as many units as you can assemble while keeping it flat. So I'm now going to make it three dimensional. And the idea here is this is the base of our octahedron, this cross here. And we're going to join these sides together like this. It's exactly the same technique as the other units that we have assembled, just harder to see. But here we are. Let's do one of them and then we'll cut towards adding the last two models, modules. Here we've connected all but two of the modules. Got, I'm just going to start connecting the last ones now. We've assembled all of the units and we just need to join the last four units at the top using exactly the same technique as you've been using all along.
here is the fully assembled model and first time you try and collapse it, it doesn't collapse all that well so I've I've had a little go at this already so we're going to try we're going to push the sides in and we're then going to give it a twist it should it's still misbehaving should be able to do this in one quick smooth move that was not a quick smooth move let's undo it and see if it can uh, reassemble yep here we have it and now let's see if we can collapse it a bit better this time I'm going to pull it so it collapses twist it to twist it hey one more for luck expanded collapsed expanded collapsed 